What's up y'all, BK back here with another paddle review. And in this one, we are going to be reviewing what is widely considered the number one spin paddle on the market. So in this video, we are going to be reviewing the Volare Mach 2 Forza. Let's do it. Now, if you haven't heard the name Volare before, Volare is a really popular paddle maker um, and is used by a couple of really good pros like Julian Arnold and Kyle Yates that have paddles with the company. Um, they make a lot of interesting thermoform paddles and experiment with some shape designs. Uh, in this one, we are gonna be talking about the Mach 2, which is their wide body paddle. It's a very unique shape that I don't believe any other company really has on the market right now. So there are some things that this paddle does really well and there are other areas where this paddle does lack a little bit. So we're gonna talk about what it does well, what it doesn't do well, what kind of player this paddle would suit and everything you need to know about the Mach 2 Forza before you go and get yourself one of these beautiful paddles. Diving right into the specifications of this paddle, the Voler Mach 2 Forza comes in at a paddle length of 15.88 inches and a paddle width of 8.12 inches. The handle length is a standard 5.5 inch and the grip circumference is a 4.15 inch circumference. There are two different thicknesses for the Mach 2 Forza. It either comes in a 14 millimeter or a 16 millimeter core thickness, with an average weight of 7.7 .7 ounces. The swing weight of this paddle comes in at 108 and the twist weight is a 6.99. The average weight of the 16 millimeter is eight ounces. The swing weight of the 16 millimeter is 112 and the twist weight of the 16 millimeter is 7.37. The core material in this paddle is a simple polypropylene honeycomb with foam walls in the edge and the paddle face material is a Torre T700 carbon fiber. Again, very standard with pretty much most premium paddles on the market. This is a completely thermoform paddle. It does do some really interesting things with the carbon fiber reinforced around the inside edge and they also have EVA parts inside the grip to prevent vibration. Now, one of the standout features with the Mach 2 Forza from Volare is the low swing weight and the high twist weight. The low swing weight makes the paddle feel really light and really fast when you're getting into hand battles and quick counter situations, whereas the high twist weight makes it have a really big sweet spot and avoids twisting in the arm or in the wrist when you're hitting your shots. So this combination of having a low swing weight and a high twist weight is something that Volare has done really well with the Mach 2 Forza and will please a lot of players as it is definitely going to prevent a lot of injury situations and keep you fairly stable and quick at the kitchen when you're into those quick hands battles. Now, diving into the spin of this paddle, this is something that I was really looking forward to testing with the Mach 2 Forza because there were a lot of people that had used the paddle that told me this paddle had incredible spin. And for someone like me, if you've ever seen me play games before, I love to spin the ball. So playing with the Mach 2 Forza was a pretty great experience for me because all the rumors are true. This paddle has exceptional spin and it's a little bit because of the shape of the paddle and also a little bit because of how they've constructed it with the carbon fiber and the core materials, the paddle does a fantastic job of spinning the pickleball. Because the paddle has such a wide body, anytime you're trying to hit your slice shots or your topspin shots, the surface area on the paddle allows you to spin the ball a lot more than regular paddles, which gives you very exceptional spin rates on the court and is definitely something that you will notice instantly with this paddle. It definitely stands out in comparison to other paddles. I felt a big difference when it came to the spin of this paddle, so I enjoyed playing with this paddle from a spin perspective. Because of the shape of the paddle and the high spin rates, I really think this paddle will suit a lot of table tennis players that are getting into the game of pickleball because the shape allows you to feel very similar to a table tennis paddle and a lot of table tennis players do have very unique techniques when it comes to being able to spin the ball. So if you are a table tennis player looking for a paddle into your entry into pickleball, this is the perfect paddle for you. So definitely go pick up a Mach 2 Forza from Volare 
Every single one of you that is a table tennis player will thoroughly enjoy this paddle. Now talking about the feel on this paddle, because of the huge surface area on this paddle and the high twist weight, what you get with this paddle is stability. It is very easy to control a pickleball with the Mach 2 Forza because the shape of the paddle really allows you to manipulate the ball exactly how you want to. The twist weight is really high, so there's no shaking or twisting while the paddle is in your arm, which allows you to be really stable, well in control of every single shot that you hit, and the sweet spot is incredibly large on this paddle. The big sweet spot along with the twist weight really made me feel in control while I was on the court, and I was able to reset and drop every single one of my balls into the kitchen and felt very comfortable in those dink battle situations. So playing the soft game with the Mach 2 Forza was an exceptional on-court performance. Because the paddle does have such a good feel, they did sacrifice a lot with the Mach 2 Forza in terms of power. The power on this paddle is nothing special. In fact, I would put it in the lower tier of Thermoform paddles when it comes to power. It doesn't have any real power in the sense of if you're trying to drive the ball or hit really good speed up shots uh, while you're in dink battles, this paddle is not gonna give you a lot of heat on those shots. This is definitely more of a control paddle and for people that enjoy playing the soft game, this is the perfect paddle. But if you are looking for more of a power game, this is not the paddle for you and I would try to look elsewhere when it comes to power. When it comes to pop, however, because the paddle is thermoformed, the paddle still has some significant pop on it. Again, it's not extraordinary and I would definitely not put it at the top of the pop list. However, this does pretty average and standard in terms of pop. So if you are looking for consistent pop off the paddle, the Volare Mach 2 Forza does not disappoint. I would put it a little over average in terms of pop. However, nothing exceptional, so it's not something that stands out with this paddle. It does the job when you need it to do the job. And again, for a high control paddle, having the pop that it does helps a lot when it comes to counter situations and also in that transition zone area where you're looking to speed up the ball sometimes. This paddle does the job as well as it needs to. There are a couple of really unique things about this paddle that makes it stand out from other paddles on the market. First off, as I said, the shape is very unique to the Mach 2 Forza. Um, this paddle has a wide body shape, however, it also has a five and a half inch handle. Most wide body paddles that I've experienced or had the opportunity to play with did not have such a long handle. They normally come around five inches or sometimes even shorter than that because they really want to make you feel like you, your, the paddle is part of your arm. However, what Volare has done with the wide body, but also adding the five and a half inch length, gives it really good leverage when you're trying to spin the ball or hit counter pop shots off of this paddle. So because the paddle does come with a five and a half inch grip, you will not be disappointed by the leverage that you're able to get when it comes to swinging at the ball harder in comparison to other wide body paddles. So that's something I believe Valera has done a really good job with on this paddle. Now, because the paddle does have a width of over eight inches, they did have to sacrifice a little bit in terms of the paddle length overall. So this paddle does not have the greatest reach on the court. So if you are someone that is looking for a little more reach on the court, when you're at the kitchen line trying to take balls out of the air, or you're someone who's a little shorter and you're looking for a paddle that gives you a little more extension with the arm, the Mach 2 Forza might not be the paddle for you as the paddle length is fairly short. So I would look at some other elongated paddles to really give you the reach that you are looking for. However, because the paddle is a wide body shape, it does a really good job of what it's supposed to. This paddle is not built for reach. So again, if that's something you're looking for, I would look at some other paddles on the market. This paddle does come in two different core thicknesses, the 14 millimeter and the 16 millimeter. The 16 millimeter, because of the thickness on the paddle, does give you a lot more control and stability. So if you are looking for more of a control game with the wide body shape, the 16 millimeter paddle is definitely the better option. However, what I like about this, the 14 millimeter version, is that because the core is thinner, but it still has that wide body shape, I still generate enough power and enough counter pop with the 14 millimeter, 
while being able to use the large sweet spot of the wide body shape. So I believe the 14 millimeter is a little bit of a better balance in terms of power, pop and control when it comes to the Mach 2 Forza. So I would definitely recommend you check out the 14 millimeter over the 16 millimeter if you're looking for a little bit more balance. However, if you are looking for more control, definitely go with the 16 millimeter. Another interesting uh, tidbit here is that the 14 millimeter did give me a little more spin than the 16 millimeter, but the difference was fairly negligible. So again, I don't think it's a factor that should go into your decision making. But if you are into numbers, the 14 millimeter did perform better than the 16 millimeter just by a little bit when it came to the spin of the paddle. Now, what's unique with every Forza is that Volare sends you a paddle head cover, a carbon touch-up eraser, a replacement black grip, a replacement paddle neckband, and a Volare sticker with every single paddle that you purchase. So with every Forza that you buy from Volare, it comes with so much extra accessories that honestly makes it a fantastic value for money. The price of this paddle is a standard $179.99, which is pretty standard for most Thermoform paddles on the market. However, if you use the code BK10 at Volaire.com, you can get this paddle for 10% off at about $162. So again, it is fantastic value for money because not only are you getting a paddle, but you are also getting a paddle eraser, a replacement grip, a replacement neck band, a sticker, and a paddle cover. So all these accessories plus the paddle for $162 makes the Volaire Forza series and the Mach 2 Forza exceptional value for money. So make sure to head on to volaire.com and use the code BK10 to get yours now. I will leave the link in the description to automatically apply the code. Go ahead and check that out. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, if you are looking for a wide body control paddle with a lot, a lot of spin, the Volaire Mach 2 Forza is a fantastic choice. I would definitely recommend that you check out the 14 millimeter over the 16 millimeter. But again, if you are looking for more control, definitely go with the 16 millimeter version. You won't be disappointed by either paddle. If you are a table tennis player, this is to me the number one paddle that you can get when you're transitioning from table tennis to pickleball. So all the table tennis players out there, make sure to go check out the Mach 2 Forza from Volaire. Comment below what you'd like to see me cover next, any other paddles that you'd like to see me review or any other videos that you'd like to see. Until then, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying our content and follow me on Instagram at BK underscore pickleball. Until next time, I'll see you later.